I experienced the absolute luxury of doing something I never thought I would do, which was I married. I married a woman. Many people were kind of surprised, like, what? You did what? Well, I did. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a huge financial advantage. It was, um, there's a word for it. What is it? Um, this, this sense of entitlement. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. This, Around couples privilege? This maybe? entitlement of couples privilege, which landed on me and increased my ability simply by being married to almost double a loan I got on a house. So I went from buying what I thought was going to be a single wide on a hillside somewhere to buying a four-story, 2,500 square foot, you know, garage on land with, that has deers and bear and foxes and wow. yeah, we have wildlife anymore. So what I would change would be the entire fucking thing. The, the I'm, I'm a, I was. I am a member. I was an early a member of the Youth International Party or the Youth in Protest, the Yippies. Mm -hmm. We sort of believed you could fuck yourself to peace. You know, we, if we all had good orgasms, the, most, most war would stop. Oh. And I kind of still believe that. But I would take out the Greek system of thought that our philosophy for the United States is based on. Mm -hmm. The Greek system in the uni universities where the young white males who run 80% of the large corporations in the world come from the Greek system, mm -hmm. I would take out the fact that there is an ideal perfect male and anything less than the ideal perfect male is to be bought, sold, used, owned, mm -hmm. um, the Greek system. I would change that philosophy. Yeah. But I don't know what I could replace it with because, you know, other than a philosophy where all humans are beautiful, life itself is beautiful, choose, would you rather be a piece of road made out of carbon or would you rather be a human I'll take the human yes. and life itself all by itself is beautiful the idea that we can look at each other and experience things as the universe is experiencing itself which is what we're doing really mm -hmm. we're the stuff of the universe going oh, wow we're the thing isn't it nice so I would make the idea that life itself is beautiful fundamentally and I would take the commercial ideal of beauty and, and make it go into a more expressive structure where it's humans are amazing creatures. Just, you know, whatever their condition, um, when, you know, when dead, it's a great sorrow. But the whole idea is that when we're alive, we can learn and speak and talk and touch to each other and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's what I would change. Just the, whole, seems that, oh, I'm sorry. the whole thing. I just changed the whole thing. I did make it like... <laughs> I don't care who you are, that you are a human, and you can talk with me. So, yeah. The Greek system says that there is a man, and he is perfect, and women are unformed men. And even, even the concept of words, ele uh, malaka, uh, you know, hey, hey, masturbator, is male in sense. It's not female. Is that Greek? It's Greek. Ele malaka. And then Carol taught me this, so I might not be pronouncing it right, okay. but then, but then the, in the feminine, it's melakas mini which is one who is masturbated. You don't even have the exigency to touch yourself. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this. No, in, wow. in Greek society, the, 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 Greek, the Greek language and philosophy runs us. It's fundamental. It's the bottom root of how our thought process, the classics, are taught. And unformed men are not perfect, therefore they can't be on the citizen's role, which is called the publicist. You're mm -hmm. being public, you're being published by your name. And then you become a citizen and you can vote and own property and that sort of stuff. If you're not, if you're not the male, yeah. you know, it's it, yeah, and so look, but look at what we have. I mean, women. My grandmother got the fucking vote. You know, she couldn't vote. Um, awesome. So she made it. She. What do you mean? She got the vote. My grandmother was alive when the when the Constitution changed. And women, got, remember so women. In her adult life, there was a time when she wasn't alive. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Awesome. And there are people still alive who couldn't vote. They might not have been 18 at the time, but right. they couldn't vote. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, it, yeah. So times are changing positively. They, they, they do slowly. They do slowly. Yeah. But right now we're facing a bit of real big backlash from people who are very scared their world is going to fall over.